Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. We have an awesome apartment tour to show you today. We're gonna to be looking around this apartment here. It's priced at two and a half million and listed with story of home. So we're currently on Montague Square. Matt, if you spin around a little bit, we can show the guys what it looks like. So this square park area behind me is only accessed by the residents of this um, street and this area. And the house also comes with two permit passes. So you would park out here outside the front door. The apartment we're gonna show you is just over 1300 square feet um, and it's over two floors. So you can see here, the bedrooms are down on the lower ground floor and the main living space and kitchen is on this floor. Um, before we show you inside, I just wanna tell you guys about the Zeus app. If you haven't already downloaded it, make sure to check it out. You can put your property details in the app and get an instant valuation for selling or letting. And if you're an agent watching this video, make sure you get involved, get registered, and we'll put Nick's email in the description. Send him an email address with your details and he'll get you registered on the app so you can receive more leads. Okay, let's start the tour and I'll meet you inside the communal area. Okay, so we're in the communal area of the property at the moment. This is the door into the apartment. So come on in. The entire apartment has been completely refurbished. Um, so this part here has all changed. There actually used to be a door here. Yeah, let me just shut this door. Um, and now there's all open plan here, but there's just a fire curtain which had to be put in in case of a fire for all the building regs. Yeah, it's quite interesting. You've got the retraction button there, but it is automatic. And then over here as well, you've got the intercom and the alarm. Yeah, here's the intercom. And this is the main living space. Now, if you're not familiar with Montague Square, number 34 was where John Lennon lived. There's like a plaque on the wall. And Jimi Hendrix, I think. So it's quite like a music. And the Beatles as well, I think. Yeah, the Beatles have been in that 30, number 30. So crazy. It'd be so cool to go back in time and like see what it was like. <laughs> yeah, and back when originally this would have been one big townhouse. Yeah, one big house. It would have been absolutely huge. Yeah. So a bit more about this space. You've got hardwood flooring and this gorgeous gas fireplace. The heating is all gas. You've got some radiators by the front windows. Let me show you the front. Take us through the front yeah, window area. Yeah, let's go to the front. You've got the original windows. This property is grade two listed. So obviously there's a lot of things you've got to comply with when you do refurbishments. Um, you've got these gorgeous radiators. Pan down and check these out, Matt. Yeah, nice. But yeah, it's so beautiful. We've got the detailing above the light up here. It's great. There's a great ceiling heights in here for sure. Yeah, and we've got a sliding door. So you can separate the kitchen if you want to. Now let's head through to the kitchen. I also want to tell you guys a bit about the lease length of this apartment. Um, it's actually super interesting, but let's just go through the kitchen first, yeah? Yeah. So you've got bin drawers, you've got lots of, oh, this is the dishwasher, so Siemens appliances and a Siemens induction hob over here. And all this kitchen is essentially brand new. Yeah. Oven and microwave oven. And actually this is the really big fridge freezer. So yeah, got... I believe it's a dual fridge freezer, isn't it? So yeah. open it all up. So fridge and freezer. And then these are freezer down below too. Yeah, that's nice. And I like that there's a dining space in here. You've got a six seater table in the corner. But let's tell you guys more about the lease length. So this was so interesting. When the owner of the property bought this apartment, it had 34 years left on the lease. Now, when a property is under 80 years in London, it becomes so much more expensive to renew the lease. So there's a premium on extending the lease and it's called like the marriage value. It's called marriage value, yeah. Marriage value, yeah. So um, below the 80 years, the lower you get, the more expensive it costs to renew it. So to put it in perspective, if you got down to one year lease, it could essentially be the entire purchase price yeah. or value of the apartment to the renew lease the lease length. to take it to basically freehold. Yeah. So for this example, two and a half million. Yeah, so this was bought at 34 years and the owner um, paid 700,000 to get the lease length back up to 120, well, I think 125 years, but it's 124 years now at the moment. 
yeah. um, which is a good lease length. But the benefit is if you own this property for a few years, you can extend it again for 90 years. So around over 200 years lease. And it's way less expensive. So if you're worrying about the price, yeah. as long as it's over 80 years, you might pay maybe five or 10,000 yes. for a lease extension. So it's much more reasonable. So It's only when you yeah. go below 80 years, which it gets kind of crazy, which we found really interesting. Um, and so will the foreign viewers. Yeah, the channel. yeah. Um, so the guys at story, story of Home, they explained to us all about that. Um, yeah, so if you've got a, a leasehold apartment that you're yeah. selling in, in central London or perhaps it needs a lease extension, go yeah. to those guys because they know yeah. what they're talking about. Yeah, we learned a lot. Okay, cool. We've got loads of cabinetry up top here. We've and also then... got, just sorry, you missed yeah. it, is the boiling hot cooker hot oh, tap, yeah. just so everyone knows. Nice, and this dark mirrored backsplash. Yeah, it's tinted, isn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous, okay. Shall we flow around through this way? Let's do it, flow rider. <laughs> Um, you've got storage cupboards through here. So the staircase to the lower ground floor is just around this corner. We'll show you the bedrooms in a second. Now this is the WC, so you've got the toilet down there. The toilet that side, really nicely refurbished. Okay, shall I take the camera now and you show us downstairs? Yeah, let's go. Okay, here we go. So just lastly, to finish off with that WC, that is underfloor heating in there. Yeah. Okay, let's go downstairs. Now, even on the lower ground floor, we've got fantastic ceiling heights. And then we come around a corner to one of the bedrooms. So a generous double room, lots of space. I love the ambient LED lighting that you have on top of the cupboards and also the down lighters throughout this room. There's one behind you. I think it just adds to that luxury feel of the space. There's another one there, yeah. Yeah, yeah it definitely feels cozy down here. So you've got big built-in wardrobes behind you somewhere. There's one, two, three, four, um, floor to ceiling height. And then we've got TV up here. And I'll show you the ensuite. So a lovely tiled finish throughout. And you've got Duravit sanitary wear. And just about location, we're about five minutes from Selfridges. Yeah, it's very central location. Okay, let's check out the rest of the space. Now, it's important to note here how much storage we have in the hallway. Um, obviously, with apartments, storage is so important. So you've got hanging rails at the top and then a variety of, um, I guess, like shelving and everything below. Now, next up, we have another bedroom. This is going to be the main bedroom of the apartment uh, based on the size. Lots of storage on that back wall. Yeah. Nice hardwood flooring throughout. And you've got a lot of light through these windows. Yeah, so that, that's the um, pavement up there. So we're just below the front door where we were at the start. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got the ensuite got quite a unique feature that I haven't really seen. So you've got the um, shower glass here, but it's actually a mirror on one side. So it doubles up and does make the space feel a lot larger, especially when looking in from the room. And then you've actually got a bath in here, drawer of it, bath, and then a shower in the ceiling as well. That's the bath. Yeah, so on this side, it just looks like a tinted shower. Um, what's it called? Um, Oh, it's not a shower curtain. <laughs> and then it's mirrored. Yeah, I really like that. Never seen that before. And then you have this a heated towel rack, yeah? Yeah. Oh, Matt's just shut me out. Sorry. <laughs> now let's see the next space. Now what's really interesting about this is when this was a house back in the day, this would have been where the coal is stored. So you'd have the horse and carriage come up the street and then drop off all the coal down into here. And this would have been like the, the coal bunker, but you've got another access door here. I think that's gonna be locked, but that does take you upstairs up onto the street. And then through here, we've got like another little cozy living space. Yeah, it's like a little snug, isn't it? Yeah. Gym room or what, what a fantastic office as well. And then storage on this wall. Yeah, a lot of storage throughout there. 
Okay, let's meet you guys upstairs. We'll go to the kitchen and just chat a bit more about some of our favorite points and I guess thoughts on the apartment. Okay, that just about brings us to the end of the tour. Thanks for starting this video. It's okay. Great tour. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys think to London apartments? I think we love seeing inside these big houses. I mean, yeah. we've never thought about kind of moving or living, buying a big place like this in London, but I think it's great to see inside, isn't it's it? It's so interesting, yeah. And a lot of the time you drive past these from yeah. the outside, maybe when you visit London, but to actually see inside, see the finishings, and especially something like this, yeah. That was has a bit of history because it was bought with the low lease yeah. it was completely refurbished and i also just love how someone one day owned this entire house i think it's like three stories maybe yeah. even four stories with the lower ground floor i think there's um the guys at story at home said there's two or three more left on the montague square yeah that are houses still and they um, will be valued i think oh, somewhere around yeah. 15 maybe maybe, yeah. maybe even one was more, on the market million. for 12 million a few years million. ago so yeah, yeah around 15 million um, but I love when it's all been refurbished yeah. and redone because you're still like in an old building, but when you come inside, it's all new. And a lot of the time when we're exploring London apartments, you've kind of got London as a whole, but this is like the real London being this yeah. close into the center, like to yeah. be five minutes from Harrods, like you've got everything pretty much on your doorstep. Yeah, and Selfridges. Yeah, Selfridges, um, yeah. Selfridges. <laughs> but we know you guys love the London apartments too, and we're yeah. trying to get into lots more for um, all of you guys because it's really interesting what see. i thought might be interesting to see as well we're going to keep bringing you the ultra luxury apartments yeah and houses we've got um you know lots on the way in like the 15 20 million price range but maybe as well we can tour some lower price apartments in london yeah just to kind of see what else you you get for your money yeah it would be good to try and find like some really nice ones like under a million um to yeah. see because i think under a million it's not not cheap in london but like it's kind of a lot less than yeah. like you know when you're looking like you know through right move and everything most of the places that are like nice even yeah. just like a decent standard they're above a million yeah. it seems but it's so awesome i love this apartment um, yeah it's nice it's real yeah. nice and story of home the agents who let us in and invited us to tour this listing yeah. they do have some amazing ones they're kind of in that niche of quirky and quite cool properties oh, yeah. like this so hoping to work with them on some more, maybe some muse houses, and yeah, yeah just bring you the best of what London has to offer because there's an incredible variety of real estate here and some really interesting properties. Yeah, if you have a property, get in contact with them. Um, they're two great guys. It's a new kind of uh, company, but they've been in the industry a while and we've learned a lot about leases. Yeah, it was a great <laughs> yeah. lease conversation. Yeah. It was so interesting. I thought we knew a decent amount about leases, yeah. but understanding how much some people pay to extend for London, them in London. For wow. inside the London, and how the leases started, how the Crown used to own all the land and the farmers would lease it out to property developers. Yeah. Um, and that's how the leases started, which is interesting. Yeah. There we go, well you've got a lesson kind of combined into this apartment tour, as did we. <laughs> yeah. Not like a lesson, yeah, as in, I, I you know, know what I mean. mean yeah. yeah, that's all you laughing at me. <laughs> We've got the floor plan. <gasps> I, I know, I'll, I'll say it in the intro when we do the intro. Okay. Yeah, in this video we're doing the intro after. Yeah, we sometimes see that when it's raining outside. Yeah. Um, but we know you guys love floor plans. Love floor plans. We are, are trying to remember every single one. <laughs> it is important to know. It's hard to get your bearings otherwise, isn't it? Yeah. I think you keep shaking the camera. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, we're going to go film the rest, film some cool TikToks. Yeah. So, yeah, go follow us on TikTok and Instagram as well and check out the agents that are listing this property down below. Um, also the Zeus, Zeus app details will be yeah. in there as well if you're an agent or a buyer, or not a buyer, sorry, a seller yeah. or a landlord. Yeah, get involved. Cool. See you guys soon. See you later.